Head to your local craft store and pick up some Rit dye. Take some burlap fabric, pre-wash the burlap in warm, sudsy water. Shake the liquid dye thoroughly. Mix with four cups of hot tap water and add to your washing machine tub. Combine one cup of salt with four cups of hot water and add to the tub as well. Put your burlap fabric into the washing machine and set the machine to the hottest water temperature possible. You want the fabric to sit in the dye bath without any rinsing for at least 30 minutes and up to 60 minutes. Once the cycle is finished, Rewash the fabric in warm, sudsy water. Now head to your front door. Take a suction hook and attach it to your door. Then attach the small clear command hooks to your door, one hook opposite the other, and creating a funnel-shaped grid. Take your burlap and draft the shape of a carrot on the floor in a zigzag pattern. Take rubber bands and twist them around the ends of each zigzag. Using the rubber bands, twist each one onto the command hooks on the door until you reach the bottom of the door. Grab a bunch of faux greenery. Hook the greenery bunch onto the suction hook behind the orange burlap fabric. You now have a front door fabric carrot that is going to be the fun talk of the neighborhood. Are you ready for a dollar store project you can leave up all spring? This little kit had a little bunny in it, so I just cut the ears off. Hot glue those ears onto the top of the hat. I'm gonna cut a large piece of blue ribbon. I'm gonna hot glue it into place around the hat. Next, I'm gonna take those fake flowers. I'm gonna place some of those fake flowers on the top of the hat. I'm gonna hot glue them all into place. Next, I'm gonna punch out the face in the felt and place it on top of the hat. I'm gonna take some of that leftover white felt and I'm gonna cut three little fine strips. I'm gonna place those as whiskers. So I'm gonna place a long piece on the bottom of the bunny hat. I'm going to take a piece of the ribbon and now it's a bow. So I'm just simply going to take that elastic and hook it onto a magnetic hook that I place on my front door. I found these cute little Easter eggs at the dollar store. I'm going to use this glass cookie jar. I'm also going to grab an old vase. I love how cute this cookie jar is with the eggs and flowers. It's the perfect centerpiece for Easter dinner. For my next egg project, the eggs I found have holes in both ends, so they're perfect for slipping the string through. Put it through the other end and then close up the egg. I'm going to keep adding eggs until I have it as long as I want it. These egg garlands are so quick and easy to make and there are so many things that you can do with them. For my third Easter egg project, I've grabbed a coat hanger and I'm going to bend it into the shape of an egg. I'm going to paint the top part white. I'm just going to add some hot glue to the hanger and hold the eggs in place. I'm going to add some of the Spanish moss. The final thing I have to do to finish my egg wreath is attach a bow. I hope this has inspired you to grab some plastic eggs and see what you can do with them. We're gonna grab two bowls of the same size. So what we're gonna do is put some hot glue on the four sides right there, bring the bowl over and set it right on top and hold it into place just enough for the glue to dry. We're gonna do the same thing here. Put it together. We're gonna go ahead and take this bunny. All we need is the ears on this. All I got was a little bit of floral foam and we're gonna hot glue that on there also. We're gonna use these and we're gonna place it in there and we're gonna take it outside, give it a nice paint job. What we're gonna do is grab a planter right along the edge, put some more hot glue, take it and set it right inside there. For our final step, I went ahead and put some gloves on just because we're gonna be dealing with some spray adhesive. You start laying it on just like this. We're gonna cover the whole project just like this. Doesn't it just look amazing? Put a nice ribbon around it and made a base out of cardboard and put some eggs around the edge. 